Okay, moment. Yeah. Over here. Over here. My name is Molly Bullock. I'm an investigative journalist and the author of Watershed, which is a long-term investigative journalism series available to everyone for free on Substack. Um, and this series provides a ton of really essential context and public safety information that everyone in Tulsa needs to know. So um, it's available at mollybullock.substack.com. This series is called Watershed. My question, my first question, um, why did Tulsa build the Whitewater Recreation Flume despite knowledge of chronic and prohibitive bacterial contamination from stormwater documented at length by the Health Department and then the 2006 Water Quality Assessment, which was one of the studies done as part of the Arkansas River Corridor Plan, also presented to the Arkansas River Infrastructure Task Force in the meetings that you referenced that are available online. I believe the implication is that there was information presented that would have suggested not to build a recreational amenity because there was harmful, a harmful pollutant in the water. And that, again, the implication that despite knowledge of a harmful pollutant, the decision makers disregarded something that would be dangerous to the citizens and did that anyway. Am I? paraphrasing the implications correctly. We should have known better, but did it anyway. So what I'm saying is, whoever knew or didn't know, the information was in the 2006 water quality assessment that was presented to the decision makers. And so, um, yeah, I'm not claiming that anyone knew or didn't know, except it was in your report that was a part of the you know research and planning process. So, so the, the best I can say is that if there's a disagreement as to whether or not that should have been done, it would be based on a difference of opinion about whether or not the data that was presented in that report that you're referencing meant that uh, presented a harm, presented a harm to the public. So, so the during that process, right. So I guess what I'm saying is, if people read the report and interpreted that. The data presented in the report meant that providing a recreational amenity would be a danger to the public. Then one side interpreted that it would, one side interpreted that it would not. I know that it, at that time, the when those experts were presenting to that group, the questions were asked repeatedly about whether or not it would be safe to recreate in the river, with the primary uses being kayaking and whatnot. And the takeaway was from the decision makers, over and over again, that it would be safe for those types of activities. So I think one kind of point, really common point of confusion is the whitewater amenity is, by definition, primary contact recreation. And I mean, the report that I'm describing there was no indication that the river would ever support primary body contact recreation. Um, so, so we're gonna have yes, to stop. that's yeah. 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 Thank you. So um, our time is up. So that that's a conversation you know that's unresolved, and so um, you know you can find Molly at um, Substack, and then you also know how to find Blake, and maybe Molly and Blake can talk after the event as well. Um, so if you want to be a part of that conversation, um, then you know where to find them. So, um, 